You two are both here to participate in the Humanities 2.0 Forum. Can you tell me a little bit about, first off, what drew you to Rome? What was it about the Humanity 2.0, this ability to kind of collaborate with the private sector, with the NGOs, and, and with religious entities um, on this particular issue? I felt like this issue was not getting the platform it needed. Um, we've been struggling at the grassroots level in the U.S. to try to put this issue on the national radar. We've done a lot of different communication initiatives. We've done um, the Conference of Mayors, which is all 1,300 mayors in the United States for four years in a row now, where we've given large talks on this issue. We've passed the first resolution in 83 years on maternal health in the United States. We've done Senate subcommittee hearings. We've organized forums with leading experts within maternal health. Um, it just, it didn't matter. It didn't move the needle. And so, uh, for whatever reason, this is a completely ignored topic and it's on the margins. And so, for me, I, you know, the, the only question to solve for wasn't um, why, it was where. Where do we go? We know this is, um, this is wrong and we know this is a major impediment to humanity. Um, where do we take our understanding and our knowledge? And, and once I started thinking about um, what's a bigger, better platform for an issue like this? Rome, Rome was the most logical place, obviously because of the Vatican. Can you tell me a little bit about Square Roots? Why are you two working together? I mean, you just heard um, one of the best neonatologists in the world who's come up with a badly needed innovation that we know works, that we know is needed, and um, we don't have 10 years um, to wait around and try to figure it out. Um, it, it, frankly, it makes no sense. And these uh, disconnects are, um, you know, they're systemic. So, um, you know, in, in my view, it's, um, it's, a, it's a function of how do you get the best solutions distributed? And what kind of models could we develop that could take the infant warmer and other solutions that are as um, brilliant and powerful and impactful and uh, can figure out how to get them to the people who need them? Yesterday, you talked about Square Roots Lab. Can you tell me a little bit about this, this lab? Sure. Essentially, where, where it's going to be built, what you're planning for it to do, what problems it's trying to solve? Sure. So in uh, my previous uh, organization, Delos, we knew we were creating a new industry, frankly, which is healthy buildings. And um, the science was key. And in that case, we set up a lab through a joint venture with the Mayo Clinic. And that leads the industry now in terms of um, discovering and publishing uh, wellness strategies and standards. So. Um, the lab was a key asset in the global ecosystem, basically. And when looking at this challenge, it, it's not a communication strategy that's gonna change it. Um, it might be part of it. It's not a marketing strategy. It's not a PR or business strategy. It's, there's gotta be more to the blueprint. And to me, you need a solid, tangible asset that can repeat the sorely needed function of distribution. So um, I think the lab concept came about, um, frankly, a few months ago when um, thinking about this from a systems point of view and saying, okay, we're missing a piece here. You know, we could figure out and solve for a lot of these individually, but um, it still felt like a piece was missing. And that's frankly um, why, you know, Rome makes a lot of sense the distribution part that we were missing is here. And the idea that the lab will um, be able to tap into this incredible infrastructure. 26% of the world's healthcare facilities are run through the Vatican. Wow. Um, 15. 26% yes. of, of, of world's healthcare is, is managed as far, by. As far as I know, it's the largest healthcare platform in the world. And wow. so if you think about um, who actually cares for moms and babies in most of the world, um, it's typically a nurse, midwife, or community health care provider. And the religious nuns and sisters are exactly that throughout most of the world.